Hello and welcome. Zildra is here with Battletech. So, I am I'm on a new planet here. I came here to actually do a flashpoint. However, before I get to the flashpoint, I'm gonna knock out some uh, some easier missions here with my new lawns of medium max because these are this is definitely a planet of for uh for for well, not that difficult missions let's just put it that way so i am i'm testing out uh crabs and enforcers i kind of want more crabs i want to run a full crab lawns with this sort of a setup um however if if, if when you really look at it, the Enforcer is the better mech. Simply because the Enforcer has more free space. That's more free stonage available. It's basically just a one ton. Is it one or two? One or two tons uh, more space. However, um, when you are talking about 50 ton max, that's actually a fairly significant thing. And I'm, I'm doing all of these missions just for Sables. Because frankly, the... the, the there, there is nothing here for me to get salvage boys anyway, so we will just do to worry about this with sea bubbles. Okay, I could get turrets out of the equation, and I can only really. You know what? Well, I have. I mean, I do have a range with one ER medium, if nothing else. Okay. All right. This is enough damage to to slaughter if we hit everything. I haven't used pulse lasers really before, especially medium pulses. Do really have a reason to use those? In in all honesty, let's get rid of the sniper turret. Last thing shooting at me, thanks. Where am I? Oh, cool. You can actually reach and shoot the... But I don't think you have... Yeah, you're not in medium laser range of that. Which means this does not actually destroy it. Which is a little... Little iffy. But we can... We can blow up... Blow it up. Although, this is a shredder turret. But it's not actually in... Um, not actually in range to shoot me anyway. However... It's destroyed now. No. Right, vehicles. I wish you had come closer to me so I could, I could, you know, stomp, step on you. I could, I could stomp you instead of instead of having to shoot you. But I guess we are shooting you. Guessing we are shooting you. All right. Step this way. Manticore, Manticore. All right. Are a little too far to actually like really bring all the lasers to bear here. Ah, you are in range, nice. Oh, very good, very good shooting there. Uh, same here. Yep. Everything is in range. I still don't think. I honestly don't know if this is. If this setup is better than running those Hunchback 4Gs with their absolutely ludicrous amount of, uh, of, of stuff. As in AC 10 and a couple medium lasers, because the AC 10 is obviously, obviously the thing. Um, with this. With the fact that I have breaching shot on everybody. The AZ-10 does such good work. However, no, this is Striker Narc. Not, not really scary. Not really scary. Anyway. I thought I wanted to, uh, I wanted to mess around with something different. Which is which is why we are we have this setup here. Let's uh, just go and blow them to smithereens, shall we? Just Striker, right? These things really shouldn't have too much health. We should not have too much health. Kill confirmed, Commander. 
All right. I'm here. Along the smithereens they are. I'm going. 150. Damage. Don't actually have enough damage to blow that up in one go, huh? Commander. I mean, obviously, these are not... These are not optimized laser max. Because if I if I optimize the crab, it would be running five five mediums. If I optimize the uh, enforcer, it would be running five mediums. Instead of instead of this weird setup. However. However. Let's be honest here. I don't wanna optimize this. Because I want to optimize them for the usage of... Okay, cool. More more sables. I want to optimize them for the for the usage... Usage of... Reaching shot. Not, not, not trying to optimize them for, uh, for laser... Laser... Full laser volley purposes. Not step on the... You know what? Those two. Print along. Alright. It should be some really small max, actually. Let's get everybody in here and cool off for a turn. Yeah. I have a lot of heat sinks on these max. So they cool off very nicely even this in even in this kind of environment. It's kind of um it's kind of uh arguable that you want to in, in this very hot environment you want to bring heavy laser belts, because heavy laser belts generally have a lot of cooling. Which means that you can really cool off very well in this this um thing. Shoot the treb, shoot the commando, and shoot this building. That's correct? Yes, that's correct. Actually. Can you reach yeah. okay. this way around then? I go. Here we have breaching shot doing its thing. So that one, that one has actually bulwark, and that one has just you know, he's just braced, but still. That looks like a Centurion A. On the way. What's the third mech? Alright, laser laser javelin. Put this building as well again. Commando, the building, right. Do that into the commando and medium laser into the building. <laughs> you missed. Okay. If I looked correctly, this thing had 100 health. I really need to retreat back into the into the cover. This guy's hurt. Uh, yeah, so we, we slaughter it with those medium lasers, right? Um, get the building done with the medium laser, right? Go. 
know what? I'll vigilance you so you can shoot next turn before he's crazy. Hmm, you missed. Okay. You missed. Please don't miss the then. Okay. We got the facilities. Right, just one laser, fine. What can I do for you? I'll walk you in here. That thing has no Time to die. thing has no uh no almost no evasion and no bulwark or anything of the sort. But there we go. Now allow me to jump first. Thank you. Commander. You who needs to jump into hiding here. How much health? You know what? Now they have to come to me. Yep, it's a centurion A. Kind of like I figured from the ballistic, followed by missiles on a 50 tonner. I'm receiving you. Jump you back. And pull up. Split the damage along on the max. That's working nicely. And you step back here. And then, you know what? That should get me, get rid of some missiles for me. Yeah, I suppose so. Okay, somehow it lived. Somehow it lived, but that's okay. Eh, barely lived. Train medium laser into the city, please. There we go. Thank you. There's the multi-shot doing its thing, as it should. Step you here. Okay, you just shot a friendly back in the head, it looks like. Mm. What? Okay, you don't have a fighting solution from here. Okay, fine. With Probably should have done a precision strike on that. Uh, that would have meant I moved everybody first this round. And I probably could have killed it before it even got to move. Just a, a quick hindsight thing of like order of, of operations you should do. Right. How much on that? Not a lot. This is worth the other precision strike. And there we have it. Okay, so far, so far, workable, workable, enjoyable laser uh, thing. And I'm making almost a million out of these kind of cheap and easy missions here. And getting some LR memo. All right, let's do the next mission. Okay, the payout is absolute garbage on this mission. 
So I assume like there is like no enemies then. Uh, let's do it anyway for just a little bit more sables and stuff. I think that seems reasonable. Is that a Vulcan 5T? Yes, yes it is. Uh, I would have liked to have run a full uh, launch of Vulcan 5Ts at some point. Some point when I play this game. That, that is something I would like to have. But... Okay. Now, uh, everybody of mine moves before you do. Let's see if we can, if we can't, you know, blow to you to smithereens. Apparently not, because we split that damage all over the place. The crab in the front. Oh man, look at this damage spread. Like... Everywhere. Everywhere but that CT. Okay, there is the CT. Okay. Oh, there is something else. Okay. I kind of thought there wouldn't be anything else, considering there is like... 250,000 or something for sale here, um, you know. To be acquired here. Well, I guess there is something more. Yeah. Well, you really went for the lag, huh? No, that makes slaughtering it easier. You, yep, you can't reach the... Reach the objective. Okay. Well then. The asset is in hand, Commander. Good work. That was that was nice and quick. Like I said, there's like no enemies. I, I was kind of expecting there to be only that one Vulcan, considering the payout is this bad. But hey. I got mech parts. Alright. At least I got something nice for it. Alright, let's uh, jump on to the next one. Right, so there's one more mission on the planet after this. Man, the crabs are so much faster than the Enforcer. I mean, the crab does have a bigger engine, which is one of the reasons it has less space available than the Enforcer does. Because the engine weighs more than the uh, Enforcer engine. This is just a straight up battle, though. Let's see if there is anything else than a low cost. Okay. And there is. Seems like Light Max. It's probably the Javelin A with the LRM-15. Man, am I facing like a low-cost launch here or something? What the... Well, at least they are soft targets and they will get blown to bats nice and easily. Okay. So we lower evasion on you and hit most guns into this one, right? Lower evasion on that. And we still miss one. That's fine. Is that, that a 30 donor, right? Show me. Yep. Javelin 10A. What can I do for you? Ordinance received. Okay. Oh well, if we hit that large laser, we're probably doing some actual work. Nope. I will precision strike this with the final Mac once we have stripped the evasion as much as possible. Which means we do the do it with you, right? Alright. One down.
One down. Time to be gone. Man, the, the life of a low-cost pilot in a, in a game like this. Very, very scary. I mean, in, in, in the actual, like, lore and whatnot, you could still say that, because, you know, things like 100-ton assault max and whatnot are not exactly common. So you can easily say that uh, a low-cost is still like a, like a force to be reckoned with, sort of. But in, in all honesty, in, in games like this, where the baseline mech is essentially a heavy mech, um, trying to get low cost stuff done is not, well, not very easy to survive on a low cost. Which reminds me that I really eventually need to do a bad mech, bad mech carrier. Uh, I really should do that. Um, max only carrier. Alright, fine. Oh, I don't have a firing solution on that, but we can get rid of this thing, so. Oh, that's that. Now you. You, you okay with taking off a lag here? That gets rid of the evasion, puts it on the floor so we can uh, we can precision strike the CET with the with the crab. That should be it. Okay, awesome, nice and fast. Now there is one more mission here to be done on this planet. I believe it was an escort. So this is a uh, this is going to be a little uh, shorter episode than than usual. However, however, I don't I don't want to fly anywhere else between between stuff because we will be doing last point. Oh, I got a mech to sell. Nice. All right, final mission. No, it is an escort mission indeed. Let's just sprint along first. Then we jump. Yeah. Low costs. Well done. These things I'm all happy just sprinting because they, they still generate enough evasion that you know you can you can essentially avoid the occasional shot. Uh, heavies heavies I, I definitely will jump. So Jump you here. Let's see what we have. Spider. Low cost, low cost. Alright, I guess we multi target couple low costs here. Lower evasion on one. Or actually, lower evasion on two of them. That's the co goal right now. If we managed to hit one, that's uh, then that's the mech we managed to, uh, we will focus fire that particular mech. Okay, I get the small laser on that one. Nice shooting on there. Jump over this this extra heat bed. Still missing this guy. That's fine. Should be no evasion left on you after. Oh, how did we not break any parts of you? Okay, we have spread the damage badly. However, this should now be a yeah. This should now be a full shot here. Logos survived with all parts intact. The heck was that all about? Talk about damage spread then. Please no head heads. The nice thing is that you came close enough that we can melee you to death, which is the way to really deal with things in 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 this heat environment. 
And then there is a spider. Okay. Now we split apart. Or we split up. Uh, ooh, I can melee you in the back. Really that actually from that side. Okay, that took a leg. Standing by from the rear, thanks. Oh how did you not break anything? How? Oh, you hit... You hit the lag and stuff. Like, really? You know what? Let's go for this one. Get rid of it. Yeah, not much left of that locust. I get shot in the back, aren't I? Yep. Which is fine, we have full armor on this, Max. Entirely full armor. Okay, I'm not coming in there to, you know, melee you. God dang. I'm here. From the rear, go. Okay. And you did not destroy it. That like one health in this AT, right? Five. Can we melee you there without coming in there? That's the question. Yeah, you know what? We can. Ooh, nice shooting. Nice shooting with that uh, finishing touch there. Alright, you there. And you failed to kill it. Really? Oh, it is knocked down now, so we can we can finish the job. There is like no health in that city. Yep. Turn off like that large laser. There we go. All finished. Now let's go escort some Max. Jump over the ice just in case. Fine. When jumping, these things obviously have the exact same mobility, because they are same weight, medium max, uh, with same amount of of, um, of jump chats, which is to say four jump chats on all of them. You can ju actually jump in there. Oh, I clicked the wrong button, huh? Jump you in there this turn. Get these guys out. Sleep nurse and all swings, okay. I mean this is this is a very short I like this map from that point of view. This is a very short drive for these guys. They almost never get lost. Uh, there are a couple of those maps where you have like ramps and stuff where these these things sometimes decide to Well, I'm gonna get entirely lost now and not follow any commands or anything of the sort so screw you Friendly Max Thankfully most of that has been fixed, but Okay, then right. You had just enough speed to get there
Okay. Somehow I remember they were coming in here. Well, that's fine. We can we can go in in this smoke here. The fight. Oh, bloody raven! Isn't that? Yep, it's a bloody raven. Let's go in here. Waiting on you, Commander. Jump the enforcer here. Um, that's the large laser, please. Oh, very good, sure then. What I could do, come to think of it, what I could do with these mags is to actually uh, change the armament so that they are all just carrying two large lasers. I think that might be a reasonable thing. However, that, that would be uh, more, more of a um, let's play from range. And let's get close there and brawl as I have built the cat crabs more like. Once I have four crabs, I might change all of them into a proper, you know, close range, close range uh, loadout of of running actual like multiple medium lasers and stuff. The main issue with the crab. Is that a uh, majority of the weapon slots are in the center torso, which means you cannot fit a gyro in there with it, if you want to fill all the all the guns in. I hear ya. Let's go punch it. Oh, ammo explosion. Hello there. It should be a kill. No? The ammo explosion didn't, didn't destroy the mech. Interesting. Interesting. Right, fine. Get rid of this thing. You know what? I feel like punching you since you decided to punch me. There we go. Crab clawed. Got a lot of a short, a short escort mission. That was fairly nice. Over a, over a, almost 1.2 million for a, for a sort of garbage mission like that. And I got a raven for it. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I will see you folks next time with the actual flashpoint on here.